Hi Cancer, it's Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and we are here to do a general reading for the sign of Cancer today. If you have Cancer anywhere in your chart, this reading may resonate with you. May not. If it does resonate with you, that's awesome. That means the cards are speaking directly to you through me today. If it doesn't resonate with you, just wasn't your turn, my friend. It's important to know not only your sun sign, which today is Cancer, but also your rising sign, your moon sign, and your Venus sign. Your sun sign, Cancer, is how you receive information from the world around you. It's how you, it's, it's the energy by which you receive information. Your moon sign is how you feel about your world. That's how you process your information. And your ascending sign is how you disseminate or give information back to your world. Your Venus sign is how you give and receive love. So it's important to know those different signs. And there's a link in the box below. You can do it for free. Download your astrological chart. It'll tell you all the planetary placements um, on the day and time that you were born and it's important to cross watch those signs like particularly in a free general reading on youtube you know it's important to cross watch those signs for yourself and if you're cross watching for somebody else if you know their planetary placements it's important to cross watch those signs as well as well um, it will give you a complete uh, perspective of the events that are unfolding and you can uh, piece it together and the synchronicity will blow your mind so that being said, if you want a personal reading from me, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. 40 bucks will hook you up just like this, just for you, just for your situation. All right, let's get busy. All right, let's get started. You know, Cancer, I just really, I think this is just life. I don't think this is love. I don't think this is money. I think this is just life. Um, could possibly be career. But um, I'm not really sure. So we're just going to read through this and you guys can just put it where it needs to go for you because this is a, a general reading, right? All right, let's get started. So this first card out right here is the tower card. Tower, it's about a sudden change in your life, upheaval, chaos, a revelation and an awakening. And the way that these cards are playing out right here, I would venture to say that this is sudden change and upheaval and chaos in your life. Pre this reading, okay? Pre this reading, because this little pocket right here talks about this and then the rest of it is just beautiful. So at some point in your, in your past, there was upheaval, chaos, right? In regards to the to the authority the structure the establishment in your life the control that you had over your life clarified by another freaking tower so whatever this was was really earth shattering for you um, could be a divorce could be um, the loss of a job could be um, it could be a lot of different things but whatever it was it just wiped the foundation of your life the three of swords is about painful separation sorrow heartbreak grief or rejection so you see it could be about a divorce it could be about a separation it could be about um, losing a job it could be about uh, it could be about a lot of things but whatever it was it caused some serious pain some serious pain and it caused you to transition it's a regretful but necessary transition out of that phase of your life so whatever that was, uh, that was rough, really rough. And um, man, you have, you have all of my feels for that one because whatever that was, was rough for you. However, now, now you have emotional balance and control, right? You have emotional balance and control in your life. This empress comes in and reiterates that the empress is the compilation of all four queens in the tarot deck right she's the queen of our security she's the queen of our feels and our emotions she's the queen of our thoughts and she's the queen of our inspiration and she has it all under control so this empress is reiterating that you have come out of this 
okay. It may, it may have taken a minute for you to, to regain your balance and regain your, your, um, your bearings in life, but you're good now. Or, or if you're not good now, rest assured you will be good. You will be good. You now feel that you can plan for your future with the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is celebration, harmony, home, community, and marriage. You, you, you feel stable. Three of Cups comes in and says not only do you feel stable, but you feel celebratory. You're happy, right? You have friendship. You have community. You, you, feel, you feel happy. You know, for the first time in probably a long time, you feel happy. With the Ten of Swords in reverse, you are recuperating, right? You are recovering from, um, you, you're recovering from this situation right here. You're recovering. The Seven of Swords in reverse talks to us about um, breaking free, right? Breaking free, leaving all of the betrayal, the deception, the shady behavior, leaving it all behind, breaking free, and not letting it control your thought life or your physical life for that matter. And now you have balance. You have balance. You have priorities. You have adaptability. You've come through this. You've adapted. You have balance and priorities in your life right now. You're feeling emotionally in control and whole again, right? Now you are going to begin to plan for your future. This is a card of future planning, progress, decisions, and discovery, right? You have a whole new, a whole new path in front of you and you're going to, you're going to start walking down it because you're going to plan for your future. You are going to create for yourself a solid foundation by which you can build everything that is happy. Everything that is celebration, harmony, marriage, home, community. It's the second time we had the four of wands right there, right? That's the universe telling you, you're going to be okay. We're going to give you the tools that you will need to plan for your future, make decisions, and discover what it is that you need to, to have this stable foundation again. Queen of Pentacles comes in and clarifies all of that. She is the foundation of, of a home, right? The Queen of Pentacles, first of all, she embodies, she is security, right? She's practical, she's homey, she's motherly, grounded, down to earth, right? This is, this is wifey material right here. This represents home and family and, and establishment of your life. The Four of Pentacles comes in and says that you, um, it's about control and stability and security. Let me think about this for a minute. With the Page of Swords and the King of Cups. Okay, control, stability, security, right? For a while, you have felt locked down with these four pentacles right here. He has one underneath each foot, one across his chest with both hands, death grip on it, right? And one above his head. He's sitting and he's immovable because if he moves, he is going to lose control of the only security that he has. So for a good minute, you have felt um, like you've been on lockdown, right? You felt that you've been on lockdown, but it's beginning to, 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 to unfold to where the dual meaning of this card is that you now feel like you have control and stability and security in your life. There's some kind of communication that comes in. Not a big telephone call, maybe an email, text messages, but there's some kind of short phone call maybe. There's some kind of communication comes in to you that gives you 
a sense of emotional balance and control in your life. Maybe it's a job offer. Maybe it's a phone call from a friend. Something though, some kind of communication comes in and, and it makes you feel emotionally balanced. Could it be communication about love coming in since this is the king of our feels, right? This is the king of love right here. It could be. It could be. But regardless, it does give you a sense of emotional balance and control in your life. Ten of Swords, an inevitable end. Okay, maybe this communication right here brings some solidity and some clarity to this situation. Anyway, Ten of Swords, an inevitable end. There's an inevitable end to the Queen of Wands in reverse. Uh, the, the, the feelings of, of, um, the feelings of, you know what? I'm sorry, I am gonna turn this over. This is the way this card needs to be in this reading. It just is. It came out in reverse. It was the only card that came out in reverse. But um, I'm going to put it this way because I can. Because this is my reading for you and this is how I feel that this needs to be. So there's, there's an inevitable end, right? There was an inevitable end right there. And now you are in your power. You're in your power because justice was applied to the situation. Karmic justice, fairness, truth, cause and effect, and law. Seven of Wands comes in and says the challenge is over. It's over. The challenge is over. Happiness, contentment, That's what you have now. And you're walking away from all of the bullshit in the past. So perhaps this phone call or this communication that came in over here, maybe it was that because of this really bad situation that happened right there, maybe you were in a financial jam and you didn't have a lot of pentacles, right? Maybe, maybe it's been a struggle for you financially since this happened. But this communication that comes in gives you a sense of balance and control, right? This communication that came in puts an end to everything. It puts an end to it. It stops it. You're feeling very much in control of, of your life right now because justice has been applied. The challenge is over. Happiness ensues, and you are walking away from this. That's what I think is going on here. I think that this communication is something that released you, not only from your financial holdback, but from the situation all the way around. Maybe a divorce is finalized, right? Maybe a lawsuit has been, um, maybe judgment was in your favor. Something though, something very, very big, right? Something very big has happened and now you have emotional freedom from it, free from it. Victory, public recognition, recognition, celebration, right? Progress. Self-confidence. Now you can plan for your future. Now you're released from this and you can actually plan for your future. Not just think about planning for your future. Not just thinking <laughs> about planning for your future, but actually planning for your future. And the Page of Wands comes in and says you are super excited, you're pumped. You are pumped, pumped, pumped. You're going to plan for your future. There's that Queen of Pentacles again right there, right? Same thing right here, Cancer. 
the Queen of Pentacles. Um, home, family, establishment and structure of your foundation, security. With the Two of Cups being um, a unified love, a partnership, a relationship. So there's some kind of relationship that is pivotal to this right here. Whether it's a business relationship, whether it's a new love interest, um, a family relationship, but there's some significant relationship in your life that you are now free to move forward with because this is over, right? The Five of Pentacles is about insecurity, worry, financial loss, poverty, being left out in the cold. The Nine of Wands, courage, persistence, a test of faith, right? And this, my friends, is just reiterating this back here, right? It's, it's reiterating this. The, 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 it's over. It, it, it's over. The feelings of being left out in the cold or worrying about your financial security, it, those days are over. The Knight of Wands comes in and says that you have had courage and persistence and resilience in this situation. Perhaps it's been a test of faith. I don't know. That's for you to decide, really. But it's over. It's over because, again, celebration, second time. Celebration comes in, right? The Three of Cups, friendship, creativity, community, celebration. The Six of Cups, family. The family structure. It can mean reuniting and reconciling. Maybe you're maybe you are reuniting and reconciling your family from whatever this really bad situation was up here. Maybe everybody's coming together again. Maybe this 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 information that came in over here to you um, created the ability to bring your family back together. Maybe, maybe kids had to go stay with grandma for a couple months because you guys had to work out some shit in your relationship in court and stuff like that. Maybe you lost your job and kids had to go live with, with uh, you know, your sister or something for a minute until you could get reestablished. But that's over now. That's over now. It's all coming back together. And there's celebration. The temperance card is about just that, temperance, right? Balance, moderation, patience, and purpose. Valerie, va uh, valoration. <laughs> Validation. Balance, moderation, patience, and purpose. With a regretful but necessary transition, transition into a new beginning. Purpose. You have purpose in your life right now. You have purpose. And you know that you need to transition into an inspired, powerful, creative new beginning for yourself. Ace of Swords says that you have absolute mental clarity about your future about where you're going and how you're going to get there. The Wheel of Fortune comes in and says that a life cycle is completed and a new life cycle is beginning. This is a turning point in your destiny right here. Sun, happy, happy, joy, joy, positivity, fun, warmth, success, vitality in your life. because of decisions that you've made, because you've spoken your truth, you've been true to yourself, you've cut off the bullshit that you don't need in your life, you've cut off the bullshit that doesn't serve you anymore. Eight 
and you have love. Love for yourself, right? Self-love. Overwhelming emotion as well because now this is over. It's over and you're going to start down, look, a new journey and a new beginning in your life. That's amazing. Let's go back and talk about this just a little bit deeper, okay? So we know what this is over here. This is upheaval and chaos in your life. Upheaval and chaos in regards to the structure, establishment, authority, and control in your life. Clarified by upheaval, sudden change, and chaos in your life. Which caused a, a totally broken heart. Painful separation, sorrow, heartbreak, grief, rejection. And it was a, a regretful but necessary transition that you had to make in your life. The King of Cups says that you are um, now you are in emotional control. You've picked up the pieces and you have um, come to a place in your life where you are balanced. You're balanced and in control. This Empress card next to it reiterates that. All four queens of the deck, right? What, what's balanced and, control, and in control is your feels and your emotions, your thoughts, your passion and inspiration, and your security. It's all in this Empress card, in control of yourself. It may have taken a minute, but you're in control of yourself. In control of yourself with the, with the Four of Wands crossing that, talking about um, harmony in your life. Harmony. Just having peace and harmony in your life. Three of Cups comes in and says celebration, right? Celebration. Recuperating from this, this terrible thing back here, recuperating from it, breaking free from betrayal and deception, shady behavior. You're, you're breaking free from it all. And you now have balance and adaptability and prioritization in your life. Balance, adaptability, and prioritization in your life that allows you to see clearly your future and the path that you're going to take. In order to, to, to obtain a stable foundation by which to build your future, Queen of Pentacles comes in and reiterates home, family, establishment, have been feeling real guarded, holding on to those four pentacles for dear life. Maybe have had some financial difficulty, but communication comes in. Communication comes in that reestablishes balance to the, the, the feelings of not having enough or, or barely holding on. An absolute inevitable end. Totally in control. Absolutely determined. Justice has been applied. This communication over here, this was information about fairness, truth, cause and effect, and law. Like I said, this justice right here is directly related to whatever these two tower moments were over there. The struggle is over. Happiness ensues. And you are absolutely walking away from that. You are released. You are free to leave this behind. Public recognition. Victory. Self-confidence. Progress. You are free to now actually plan your future. 
this guy right here, the Knight of Pentacles, Knights are action cards, except for this guy. I mean, he's taking action, but he's taking it action in a very earthy, he's taking action in a very earthy way, right? This guy, he's slow and steady on his mount. He walks the perimeter of the property. He surveys and he plans where he's going to put things, where he's going to grow his crops, where he's going to build his house. He's planning for his future. And that, my friend, is what you're doing now, or, or, or you, you have been released to do. And it makes you feel super excited, super, super excited, enthusiastic, discovery, a free spirit, You've been set free from this, with this communication, you have been set free to go forward and plan your future. Queen of Pentacles, again, same, same energy, same placement, right? Planning for your future. Planning for your future, planning for your future. Up here, you were thinking about the plans for your future. Down here, you're actually planning for your future. Same placement, same card, different deck, but nevertheless, talking about your home, right? Your home. Two of Cups says that there is some kind of a relationship. Some kind of an important relationship in your life. Kids, love, work family of some sort, some kind of, re of, of relationship in your life that, that had to be put on hold for a minute, that had to be put on hold for a minute. Oh, those dogs, can you hear those dogs? They drive me crazy all day, every day. I just stand outside and bark. So there's some kind of a relationship that was left out in the cold for a minute. Um, had to be. It was necessary. Didn't want it, but it was necessary for this relationship to be put on hold for a minute. The Nine of Wands comes in and says that it was, it was, it was, <sighs> you had to have a lot of courage to put this relationship on hold. You had to have a lot of courage to leave it out in the cold, or at least what felt like leaving it out in the cold, but it was something that you had to do. You had no choice over it. You had to. Like I said before, you had to. But now since this communication came in and you're free to start planning for your future, there is now celebration, right? in regards to reuniting or r r reconciling um, a relationship situation. Like I said, maybe your kids had to go stay with somebody for a minute. Maybe you, uh, whatever, it, whatever it is, whatever it was, but it's a, we're surrounded around, it's surrounding your family, your home, very important relationship in your life that um, was very distressed at one point. It was very distressed at one point, but now it's all coming back together again. And there is nothing but pure elation and celebration surrounding the coming together of your family or friends or relationship again. Temperance says that, that, that you now know the purpose you know the direction that you need to take. You know where you need to go. You know what you need to do. You know what your purpose is at this particular point. And it's a transition. Your purpose is a transition into an inspired, powerful, creative, new beginning in your life with tons of potential. Tons of potential. But you have to you have to procure it, right? Aces are seedlings. Aces are seedlings from the universe that are given to us when we have tilled the soil of our life 
and made ready to receive the blessings from the universe. This Ace of Wands right here, this isn't a, this isn't a, there you go, brand new beginning, go. No, this is a seedling that the universe has given to us because we have prepared the soil by which to nurture it and make it grow. Our responsibility with the aces is to, t is to take care of it, to tend it, to guard it, and to give it what it needs to grow. So this is not a gimme right here. This is an opportunity to manifest something beautiful in your life, but you have to take care of it. Ace of Swords says that you have absolute mental clarity now. You have a breakthrough, a mental breakthrough in this situation. Everything is coming together and you have mental clarity by which you understand that one life cycle is over and a new life cycle is beginning for you. The Sun card comes in and says absolute happiness sprinkled with sunshine absolute happiness because you were true to yourself you spoke your truth whether to somebody else or to yourself you cut off that was that was that was, that which was not serving you right and now there's love and overwhelming emotion and you're about to take a new journey and start a new beginning that's awesome cancer that's awesome. Oh, let's see what time we're at. Oh, good grief. We're at 30 minutes. I'm just going to go through and talk about these major arcana um, real quick for you. So, the tower. The lesson with the tower. See, major arcana are life lessons and karmic lessons. The lesson with the tower is to understand that even when things are, are just being destroyed in our life, there's a reason for it. The reason being is that it's not serving you in your highest purpose. And that even though it's being destroyed, the foundation is still there. And you, you don't pick up the pieces and rebuild it. You bulldoze that shit and you build fresh and new again. And with two towers right here, that really tells me that perhaps, um, perhaps you weren't paying attention the first time around. Perhaps you weren't paying attention the first time around. Second time around, got your attention. We need to be cognizant and understand that this just doesn't happen randomly. The universe just doesn't go around and, and roll the dice and winner, winner, chicken dinner, boom, here's your tower moment. It's not how that happens. The tower moment is there to wake you up and make you realize that this is not the journey of your life. You are on the wrong path. You're on the wrong path. But maybe the first time you weren't cognizant of that. Second time, you sure as hell were. What else we have? I think we, we really don't have a lot of major arcana in this reading. We really don't. Sun. Justice. Right? The lesson of justice is to trust. Trust that if you put good into the world, fairness, truth, cause and effect, and law will be returned to you. The sun. What's the lesson for the sun? What can there possibly be a lesson about positivity, fun, warmth, success, and vitality? The lesson for the sun is that, that you, number one, you need to see the forest through the trees. Number two, to know that there is always light at the end of the tunnel. And number three is to consistently project positivity even in the darkest of times. Even in the darkest of times, have faith that things are going to work out for you. One way or another might not be the way you think it should be, 
But one way or another, faith that things are going to work out for you. The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is a lesson about being cognizant, being cognizant and understanding when a life cycle needs to be completed and a new life cycle needs to start. Being cognizant of doors that are being opened for you and doors that are being closed for you. If we don't recognize the direction that the universe is trying to lead our life, we will continuously be spinning, actually backwards, uh, counterclockwise, we'll continuously be spinning in this, in this suspended animation right here and never making forward movement because we're not recognizing. Sun again, we just talked about that. In the Fool card, the very last card of your, of your reading right here. The Fool card, this is so important. And I really wish this was the Fool in the Rider Waite because it's just such a better. The Fool card, you know, with the Fool card, what we have to understand is if we truly, truly want a new beginning and a new journey in our life, we cannot take anything with us. We have to go naked. We have to go naked and vulnerable into a new journey, right? We can't take baggage. We can't take hurts from our past. We can't take, there it is, we can't take hurts from our past. We can't take um, emotional baggage. Sometimes we can't even take our physical baggage with us. He doesn't have anything but his walking stick and his satchel, right? If that was me, I'd have, you know, some Folgers Instant Coffee packets and a few creamers from the restaurant down the road in there. Maybe my cell phone, right? My tarot cards. That's it. That's all I would take. That's all I need. As long as I can get some water for my coffee, I'd be all right. Right? He's got the, a white flower in his hand representing innocence and purity. His little dog at his feet representing loyalty. He's not taking anything with him. And the next step that he does take is off the side of the cliff. Right? He's ready to go. And you can't take anything with you if you truly want a new beginning in your life. And those, my friends... Are your lessons from the from the major arcana in your reading today this was your reading i hope it gave you some clarity some clarity some confirmation some understanding maybe a heads up um, if you need anything from me i'm at torastartero.com namaste